Hello and welcome to my top 10 shortcuts that I think everyone should know about. I should say these are just 10 that I happen to have picked up. There are loads out there, but yeah, these are the ones that I think people should know. So let's get started with number one. So you have lots of windows open and you want to get back to your desktop. What do you do? Well, I shall let you know. What you do is you press on your keyboard, Windows key M. And now we see what this does. This will minimize everything down to your desktop. So then you do what you want on your desktop and you want to get it back up again. Okay, so press Shift Windows key M and what that will do is then bring all your windows back up again. It's just a small shortcut but it's really very useful especially if you're you shifting windows locked like I do. So number two, say you want to get to my computer or my PC screen as they call it or something like that. What you do is press Windows key E and that will now open up your main screen. So you see you've got your hard drives here and your downloads, your documents, all the useful things that you need to get to. Number three, opening the task manager. You usually have to press control or delete, but no, there is a shortcut to get straight to it without doing that. So what you do is press shift, control, escape, and that will open up the task manager. You see, there we go. You didn't have to go through all the selecting things where it tells you if you want to lock your PC or anything like that. Okay, so number four. What we're going to do now is create a quick shortcut. So what I'll do is grab a random folder off my desktop. I'm using two monitors, I should say, so my main desktop is on another screen. So let's just grab a random folder from here. We press and press shift and control while we are dragging the icon onto the desktop. You see it changed from move to desktop to copy to desktop to create link on desktop. And there we go. You have a link there. You didn't have to bother right clicking or anything like that. So number five, we're now looking at Chrome shortcuts. So you're looking at something It's quite interesting. So you think you want to find out more about it, open up a new tab. So you go control T. And what this will do is open up a new tab at the end of your tabs list. You see I've got quite a few open. I'm one of these people who has a lot of tabs open. Let's just type in that fun keyboard that happened to be on the Tech Syndicate homepage there. There we go, we can find out all about it. And we want to go back, so we can press Control W. And as you see, that shuts the tab and goes back to the tab you were on originally. Okay, so number six. Oh no, I want to reopen that last tab. I hadn't finished with it. Well, that's just fine. Press Control, Shift and T. What this will now do is reopen the last tab that you had open. This is a very useful feature I should add. It will also reopen the next one after that and the next one after that. Number seven, you want to scroll through your tabs. Press Control and Tab. As you see, you'll now go through to the right all your tabs. It's very useful to quickly navigate. You want to go back the other way now. So shift, control and tab. And this will now move you left back along the other way. And like I say, this is really useful if you're switching pages quickly like I tend to do a lot. OK, so say you're tabbing down through some boxes or anything like that. This is the first page I happened to go on when I was recording this. But you go too far. So press shift and tab. And what you'll now do is tab back the other way so the box that you've accidentally tabbed past you can quickly tab back to. Okay number nine this is a very very quick one and I think it's strangely something that not many people know so if you press F6 this will highlight your URL bar it's quite as simple as that so you want to change you just put in whatever there we go I'm going to the Skyrim Nexus to download more mods and to make it crash even more Okay, so number 10, after you've downloaded said mods, you'll have lots and lots in your downloads folder. So you want to check out what you've got. Okay, press Control and J, and that shall open up your downloads folder. You see I've got quite a lot of rubbish in there. Got lots of things researching for the DualShock 4 controller video that I'm going to be doing. So okay, that was my top 10 shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts that I think everyone should know. If you have any suggestions or ones that you like, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to read about them. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.